ready start this exhibition highlights our skills capabilities and expertise in chemical and allied industries it also affords an opportunity to our overseas friends to know the progress of our chemical industry and the sophistication and quality that it has achieved while the organized sector has developed adequate communication channels the potentialities of the small scale industries are not widely appreciated i hope that the chem tech exhibition also projects the progress and prospectus of the small scale sector in our country the chemical industry in our country covers a wide spectrum of industrial activity varying from giant petrochemical complexes to the small units formulating paints and varnishes the products of the chemical industry are widely used not only in the day to day life but also in the development of agriculture industry and also in defense the chemical industry has made a significant contribution in augmenting food production by supplying fertilizers and pesticides it has also helped in relieving pressure on cultivated land by substituting cotton by man-made fibers it has contributed in the conservation of water resources by providing organic water retardants and polymers for canal lining chemical products have improved construction materials and substituted scarce materials by engineering plastics and nylon it ranks as the fourth major industry has increased from in the country today the investment in the industry has increased from rupees 300 crores in 1961 to over rupees 2500 crore presently the export of chemicals last year has been of the order of rupees 165 crore the range of products exported include drugs and pharmaceuticals dyes agro based chemicals etc not only are the chemicals diverse in nature but these have been exported mainly to the developed countries of west europe north america and east europe this is a proof of the sophisticated products made by this industry and to the high standards of quality as one who has attended to farming in a drought prone district i know for certain that the fertilizer costs to the farmer have neither come down nor has he been assured of its timely supply i am mentioning this to highlight that the ultimate end user the farmer in the villages and the average citizens should have the demonstrated benefit of your skills technical knowledge organizing abilities in the form of cheaper fertilizers pesticides drugs and pharmaceuticals this all lead to further growth there the chemical industry is technology intensive and there is need for continued research and development in the process and equipment field the technologies involved are multidisciplinary and fast changing necessitating continuous research and development effort 
to enable the industry not only to keep abreast of the latest developments abroad but also introduce new products processes and materials of construction the council of scientific and industrial research is playing a very useful role in developing domestic technology suited to our needs and in contributing to our national goal of increasing self reliance it is equally gratifying to note that a large number of units in the drugs pharmaceuticals and chemical industries have set up research and development laboratories as you are aware my government is bestowing special attention to the rural development maximization of employment opportunities and decentralized industrial development if the rural incomes are to be plugged back into industries it must be preceded by some well demonstrated examples of plants located in the rural areas and processing agricultural materials to bring the benefit of steady price for the farm produce and a share in the value added by processing along with agro engineering the agro processing units have to be developed in the rural areas i am sure chemical process plant manufacturers will play their rightful role in this regard the chemical industries by their very nature pose problems of industrial hygiene not only to the workers of the industry but also health hazards to the community arising from pollution and disposal of effluents there is urgent need to devote greater attention to disposal of industrial wastes indeed valuable raw materials could also be recovered from such wastes greater attention needs to be focused on effective recycling of industrial wastes production of fertilizers from sewage and spent wash of sugar distilleries etc effective pollution control cannot be brought about only through legislation it is imperative to develop a social awareness on the part of industry to industry to recognize its responsibility in ensuring protection of the environment and society from the threat of pollution a number of agricultural crops and raw materials could form the feedstock for several cottage and small scale chemical industries such as oil seeds hides and sinks bamboo products etc what is required is fabrication and distribution of inexpensive equipment suited to the appropriate level of technology one of the persistent maladies of rural life in india has been the lack of drinking water and sanitation many of the diseases and sufferings in the country could be alleviated by supplying inexpensive devices for water purification and waste disposal harnessing of the solar energy in india deserves special attention stop